Hey, it's Jason Creel. I want to show you my lawn care setup for this year. And I, I'm, I'm just really excited. I feel like you know, from an equipment standpoint, I'm in a, in a pretty good place. Uh, so this is my third year with Alabama Lawn Pros in the area I'm in. And so last year I was able to upgrade my truck to get this truck that's several years old, but when I got it, it only had 16,000 miles on it. So I feel like it gave me a, a real professional look. Got the, my decal on the side there. And, uh, you know, I really am pleased with that. I've got a, a Graham spray unit. I, I buy my this unit from Graham Spray Equipment in Georgia. I've been very pleased with it going in my third year. I had uh, virtually no problems with it and expect it to hold up for a long time. And then uh, my Permagreen, which I won at the GIE Expo in 2015. And so this thing has been unbelievable. Um, in addition to my business and just the efficiency and how I'm able to um, basically, you know, you ride this thing all day and I get tired. So it's the difference in this versus pushing a spreader. Uh, and this thing also will do uh, liquid as well. So I'm trying to utilize it for that. But, um, you know, I'm doing six applications a year. I use the Graham, uh, my Graham unit basically for three applications, use the Permagreen for three applications. Um, and, it's, and it's real good setup. I've got a rack on the back there that is custom made for this particular permagreen. So I'm able to, to pull it without, uh, without an actual trailer. I can just use that rack. Um, this it comes with a 300 foot hose with electric reel. I've got a split tank here. So a 400 gallon tank with a split. One side is 300 gallons. The other side is 100 gallons. So I'm allowed, you know, able to have two different products um, and to flip a valve to go from one tank to the other. So, uh, for instance, whether I'm working on two different grass types or, I, you know, just whatever the circumstance may call for, I've got two different products. So, um, so anyway, I just feel like, and that's what I've expressed, I, I think, you know, I've, I've got a, a good reliable truck. I've got a good spray tank. I've got this permagreen. It's been a huge asset to my business. Um, you know, I'm really hoping to uh, continue to grow my business this year and, and to make some real strides to where hopefully a year from now, we'll see, but I'd like to be able to get a second truck started and start really uh, growing my business and hire an employee. So anyway, thinking about uh, showing you, uh, demonstrating the permagreen here, I wanted to talk about this just for a second while I got you. Um, the permagreen and this is what some, I think somebody left this in the comments the other day, you know, that um, whether it's permagreen, whether, whether it's this nice spray unit, and there's, there's a lot cheaper spray units out there. Somebody said in the comments the other day, and I, and I agreed with it, said, most of the time, if you're able to afford it, the spending more on the front end is going to, you know, turns out to be a better decision long term. Meaning that, you know, if you buy a nicer spray tank, yes, it's more expensive on the front end, but over the course of, say, the next five years, um, it may actually save you money compared to a cheaper one in the maintenance and, you know, and, and just the efficiency it gives you for your business. So, so same thing with this, this uh, my permagreen. So, I, you know, I have a push spreader and, that, and that's fine. You know, um, there's nothing wrong with that. And if all, you know, and of course, if I, if I didn't get this for free, you know, win it, I might be still using the push spreader. But... Now that I've used it, I see how it can increase your efficiency, uh, allow you to target some bigger properties. You know, it's just like same thing for mowing. You know, if you have a, yeah, you can get started with push mowers and that's fine. But once you are able to upgrade your equipment, it just opens up so many opportunities for you and gives you, makes you more efficient. And so I think being able to upgrade equipment um, and, and that's not the only consideration. I mean, it's not just like, well, what's the best? That's what I'm going to get. I mean, obviously money's a factor. You know, I don't want to go buy something I can't afford. Um, and, you know, if you have employees, what, you know, you might not trust them with a machine like this. You might just say, you know what, we've made the decision. We're going to use push spreaders or push mowers versus this kind of mower. We, we are going to use these type zero turn mowers versus, you know, this one. So, you know, there's a lot of factors involved. I'm not always saying just get the best. I certainly have not practiced that in my business. But as the business grows and as the income grows, I think most of the time you're better off buying a better quality piece of equipment. It's gonna make you more efficient, give you a more professional look, and over the course of the years probably have less maintenance on it. 
and allow you to make more money in the long run. So, um, but anyway, I'm, this is my setup for this year. Hope that helps. Look forward to talking to you again. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I wanted to make you aware of something that I have uh, been spending a lot of time on and have completed. And it, there's a link in the description of the video, but it is the Lawn Business Master Course. What this comprises of is about 50 videos uh, that are not found on YouTube, as well as me being available as a personal coach, um, a, a business coach for your lawn care business, as well as my letter package, which contains marketing materials, contracts, that sort of thing. So I put all of this together in a package, and you can check it out by the link in the description. Thanks.